This is a lesson from our After Effects animation course. To get the full course, go to bloopanimation.com slash After Effects Animation. Compositions, sometimes abbreviated to comps, are collections of layers made up of audio, video, text, images, etc. Each composition has its own unique timeline of layers. I can have multiple compositions open at the same time and then quickly go between them in After Effects by clicking on these tab names. You can create a new composition by selecting Composition New Composition at the top of the screen. When you create a new composition like this, a window with various options and settings will pop up. Let's go through some of the important ones. Up at the top we have the composition name, let's just name it to something fun. Resolution, this is the width and height in pixels of the animation that we'll be creating. 1920 by 1080 is standard high definition, but if we wanted a 4K ultra high definition animation, we would change this to 496 by 2160 for an example. For our purposes and for most purposes, let's just keep it at 1920 by 1080. Frame rate. This is the number of frames per second that our composition will play back at. The standard frame rate for movies is 24 frames a second. In America, 29.97 FPS is the television standard. 60 FPS is an ultra smooth frame rate that'll produce an effect similar to video games. Having a higher frame rate will produce smoother animations, but it'll also increase the processing power required to render them. For most of our projects, we'll just be keeping it at 24 FPS. Any animations we create within this composition or any footage we pull into it will be rendered at 24 frames per second. Duration. This is the length that the composition will be in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. The background colour is just the colour that will be displayed in any empty parts of the composition. This colour is only visible during previews, however. Any exported footage will have black as the default background colour. Let's click OK and create this composition. You'll see we have a fresh, empty timeline and the new composition has appeared in our project window. We can now start working on our composition by adding some elements into it. We can adjust our composition settings at any time. If you go to Composition, Composition Settings, you can access the same window we just used to create the composition. Here, you can change the background colour, resolution, and even the frame rate, and After Effects will keep everything in the same places as best it can. After Effects is pretty robust and will handle big changes like frame rate and resolution fairly easily. Besides what I just showed you, there's a couple of other ways that we can create a new composition. For starters, we can just click this button here in the project window. Also, we can just right click on any element in the project window and click New Comp from Selection. All of the settings, including resolution and frame rate, will now be set to match whatever the element is. So if I made a new composition from a 4K 60fps video, that new composition would be at 4K and 60 frames per second to match. You can also accomplish the same thing by clicking and dragging elements onto the composition button that I showed you before. We can create a new comp with multiple elements at the same time by holding shift and selecting multiple elements. When we right click and create a new composition from selection, each of these elements will be imported as a distinct layer in that new composition. 